Hello guys, Cryptic Grounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Bolt video. Today we're going to be making an idle game in this episode too. Today we're going to be adding upgrades for our click and production. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, comment all your feedback, suggestions, all that good stuff below, and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications for future live streams and videos. Anyways, let's just hop right into it. Alright, so I made two buttons here real quick. Actually, I'm going to expand the height real quick. Yeah. So I made a click button. Um, that increases the effect by one dollar uh, for when you click, and it has a, displays the cost here as well. And I also made a production upgrade. Actually, this isn't proof. This is just production money production. And we're just gonna do uh, plus one dollar per second. Okay. And we also display the cost here too. I also just added a money per second text because I want to obviously be able to determine how many we're, or how much money we're getting per second. Coins per second. Okay. And now let's go into our script editor. So uh, we put our script right here in main, in the game object main. And you see this flow machine here? We're just going to call it edit graph. Okay. And it should open up a window. Mine just popped up on my other monitor. And we are back where we left off. So before we actually start doing this, I, let's make a variable real quick. We need to have several variables. We need our upgrade level and our, our yeah, our upgrade level for both of these. And honestly, we can make a money, uh, a temporary variable for money per second and the cost for these. So we can worry about that later. So what you do here is just type in a new variable name. We're just going to do click upgrade one uh, level. Hit enter. And we're gonna set the type to int, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing for production upgrade one level. And we're gonna do the exact same thing as an int. And I wonder, can you make a test? Let's see, can you make a, an array? Let's see, that'd be kinda cool. I don't think you can make arrays. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure they'll have that at some point. All right, so let's just create some visual um, stuff first. So we're gonna do our uh, coins per second. So we did the exact same thing here as we do for our coins text. So uh, let's see, I haven't done this in a little while. So we're gonna add a text, dot text. Okay, and we're gonna do set. Alrighty. And we're gonna set the text component to our coins per second. There we go. And now we need to input a string, and this uh, needs to update as well. So we're going to drag the update event node into our text node, like that. Oh, I see. <laughs> I forgot about this. You actually have to do it right after this one. It's a bit weird. Yeah, like that. <laughs> kind of, that's the one thing I really don't like, is that you can't have multiple nodes, I guess. I mean, it I mean, that actually makes sense, now that I think about it. Never mind. Scratch what I just said. I want to drag this too. All right, so now we're gonna start setting the string. So we need to bind this uh, dollar sign into here. So the thing is that we can use this for multiple cases, not just one. So if we re drag this, it will also create another node, so we can use this twice, just so we don't have to keep reusing the same dollar sign prefix. So we're gonna have that here, and we are going to add a variable, and we will be doing the add components takes forever to search okay and math generic like that and we will add this to a and we're also going to drag this output into the string right here alrighty let me just bring that right here I know some people won't be very happy with this crisscrossing thing that I'm doing I can organize it honestly doesn't really matter <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna, you can deal with it. <laughs> like that, that looks fine. Um, so we have our dollar sign, but we also need to display the money and the per second. So we actually have to do another string. So we're gonna uh, add another unit, and we're gonna add a string, string literal, and we're gonna set this to per second. So actually it's space per second. Alrighty. And we're going to join these at the end. So I'm going to put this right here. Organization is also very key when it comes to this. 
So we're gonna make a temporary variable. We're gonna add a, f uh, a float. Okay. Uh, a float literal here, and we're equal to whatever the money per second is. And right now, that's just whatever this level is. So we also need to get a variable. So we're gonna add a unit. Get variable. Uh, oh yeah, do get money per second. Can we do that? Money per. No. Oh, I guess we could just change this. <laughs> um, so anyways, we're gonna. Oh, right. It's the production level. So we're gonna get this production upgrade one level right here. And we're basically just gonna set that to. Um. Oh, right. That doesn't work that way. This is a bit weird. <laughs> I think I might add another group. Okay. Um, so we have this right here. And that's pretty much what the, the money per second is right now. But when we have to multiply other upgrades together, I will have to do like the add, multiply, and other stuff. But for now, it's just an individual upgrade. So we're going to bind the dollar sign and the upgrade together. So drag this node into the B node. For add like that and then after this we're actually gonna delete this one right here because we need to add the per second at the end so we're gonna add another add we actually do string interpolation no you can't okay anyways we're just gonna add the add component here and we're gonna drag this into a and then the per second right here in 2b like that alrighty and now we're gonna set this to our string for the text and we can organize this a little bit this might be a little difficult to achieve this isn't the very neatest flowchart you'll ever see but it's okay it works like that okay so now our coins uh, our coins text should work I also want to do some formatting, so I'm going to add a float to string, float to string, format, okay? And we're just going to set the format to F2 as well. Same thing as this. And now we're going to drag this uh, green into the blue node and get rid of this one. And then this orange one into the add right here, like that. And we can just like that. Yeah, this is getting a little messy already. <laughs> and now we should see 0 0.00 per second by default. Uh, let's give that a try real quick. So I'm going to save it and run it. Cool. So yeah, now we have two decimals and it says $0 per second. Alright, so now we need to do the upgrades real quick. And I'm just going to create another group by holding down the control and just dragging. And now this is exactly the same as the click method right here. We're just going to create an on button click event right here. And we need to assign a button, which will be the click upgrade one right here. So we can just drag that or we can just select it from here. But I think it's easier to drag. At the beginning, it may be easier to just click here because there you have lots of options to choose from, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, I also want to rename this to click upgrade. Oh, I want to see, can you make a switch? Switch. Interesting. Let me experiment with this. So I guess there really is no way to do switch case for this. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Yeah, anyways, we're pretty much just doing the exact same thing here. So we just need to add a set variable. We can also just set the set level and we can get our click upgrade one level here that's a nice thing you can actually search for that it makes it a little easier um, drag this green arrow into the other green arrow right here and we need to get variable uh, no we don't we just need to add by one. Oh yeah 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 that's right we need to get variable because we're adding on to it so we're gonna get click upgrade one level and we need to get an int literal and we need to add a component. Alrighty, now we have our format here. Like this. 
Unless I can space this out a bit. Like that. Okay, now we're going to drag this A plus B into this one right here. And we're going to set this into 1. We're adding my 1. And dragging this get variable into B. So now we're adding 1 to the original level and setting it equal to what the level actually is. Alrighty, so now we need to actually subtract the cost, and we also need to make the cost too. And I think that's a little tricky. So this is why I like programming better, is because it, this just gets a little tedious, and you do more work than what it should be, instead of just typing one lines, you know what I mean? But anyways, we're going to do the cost. Alrighty, so what we're going to do here is create... Um, we can actually just get this variable from here. Yeah, so we can use this to get our cost here. But we do need a float. And this is our multiplier here. I wish you could name them. But I'm going to use a 1.05, 107. Alrighty, and now we need to have a multiply. We also. Alright, so what we're going to do is normally it's. 1.07 to the power of the level. So we're going to drag this green node right here and add it to the power and float will be set to the to the F right here. The number, or the base. Okay. And now we do 1.07 to the power of level. And now after this, we can multiply the base times the, the exponent here. Like that. Also, it looks like it needs some kind of flow right here, which is interesting because add doesn't. So, not really sure why this requires some form of flow. <laughs> I guess this kind of makes sense. We can just do this here. All right, so we're gonna connect to this the set variable here. Oh wait, we actually need to do the cost before then. So, <laughs> I, I don't like Unity Bolt. <laughs> For this exact reason, it's very like overcomplicated. Alrighty, so let's delete this right here. <laughs> Connect the on button click to this pow method. Alrighty, in all honesty, at the end this makes a little bit of sense. Alrighty, we'll do our math related stuff here. Alright, so pretty much have our cost right here. We just need to subtract it from our money. We also have to do some checking too. So, <laughs> we need to create an if statement. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. Oops. I think what I do is that I create a bool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This, this is weird. Hold on, I'm going to figure this out. All right, so we actually have this greater or equal then. So this is pretty much just an if statement here. So now what we're gonna do is check to see if our currency, our money, is greater than or equal than the cost. So that would be B. Oops, like that. All right, so what we can do is either drag this node into the A slot right here, and that looks kind of messy, or we can just add a get money component right here and just simply add it right here and just drag this gray node into a so it's whatever you want now it looks like we have some issues here i think it's related to the flow and can i just drag this here will that work no that doesn't work Alrighty. Now, i think this is grayed out because we never actually do anything with this greater or equal then so this is a bull right here because it's purple so now we need to determine if it's uh if it's true or not, and I think we use, I think we use a, a select, yeah, we use a select, but I don't know what this means, is true or false, I think we can either indicate if it's true or false, um, I'm just gonna drag this right here, um, <laughs> okay, I see, I'm looking at that image, we actually use something called a branch, um, so we're gonna add a branch component, and here we you'll see our our purple thing here and it returns a true or false right here. This is getting kind of messy. I'm gonna bring this back over here. I know that isn't the greatest. I know you OCD people are gonna are gonna uh, go crazy. <laughs> now we're gonna drag this this um this 
green arrow at the math f dot pow and attach it to the green arrow in the branch and everything should be fine here so now we need to determine if it's true or false if it's false then we're just going to ignore i think we can ignore right or do we return i think we just do nothing so we can just leave that empty and if it's true then we're going to attach it to the set variable right here but we also need to subtract the cost first before we actually change the level because of this cost right here so we need to subtract the cost from this right here which the nice thing about this is that we can drag this to a whole new area up here so we're going to um we need to actually subtract okay so we're going to subtract <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty, but before we subtract, we have to actually set, we have to actually get the variable. Okay, we're doing the exact same thing here. We grab an int, grab this variable, all that stuff, so we get the level, blah, it's a mess, I know. But we need to subtract the cost, or the money from the cost, so that's A from B. So money is A, so luckily this is close, so I'm just going to drag this money component into A. Oops. And then I'm gonna subtract. I'm gonna drag this A times B right here, and put it into B. So luckily they're both very close. It's just I kind of need to space things out a bit. So we need to subtract um, money from this. Okay, that looks fine. And then I think we just set it to the cot. We set it to our current money. Let me get a little closer. You can't extend this unless you're really close and set click upgrade one cost oh wait no we set money yep that's correct alrighty finally we set money equal to this a minus b here and we also need to attach this uh this arrow right here for the true into money right here the set variable like that alrighty it's going somewhere guys and now we can finally add this green arrow to the set right here now again this looks kind of ugly so you can either move this ahead like that you know you can just put it wherever you want honestly so now we have a huge mess and anyways what it should do is that it should actually on when you click the button it should grab the cost determine if it's greater or equal than if it is then we're going to um, grab the cost right here and subtract it from or yeah we're going to have money and subtract it with, mon uh, with the cost here and then we're going to set that we're going to replace our current money with it <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot of gibberish okay let's just see if this works first before we like dare to begin with the <laughs> the production upgrade but also we want to set this replace this float with this click upgrade one level. So I'm gonna delete this component right here and add a git click upgrade one level and just replace it here and we're good. Like that. Alright, so let's save and let's give this a shot. It's a risky one. Okay, so currently we get zero per click and that's because I forgot to actually add one to the level. All right, so what we're gonna do here is just add, oh, what did I do? Okay, we're gonna add one, and this, oh, I think we just right click here. Yeah, we're gonna add one and this variable together, and then replace this um, A node with A plus B, like that. All right, also another thing we didn't do is set the, is set the, the text here, we'll get to that. Okay, so now we should get one per click, and now if we upgrade this, it doesn't subtract. Oh wait, this one right here. Okay, so now we get two per click. Nice, and it's also increasing the cost, so that works very well. Also, you can look at the, the flow chart here. You can see it run in action. You can see everything's running. Oh, that's so satisfying. Cool, so everything seems to be running great. What's our current level? 18. Yeah, okay, so we also need to replace all this UI, and we'll do that. 
So I want to update this UI, not on update, but honestly, just um, we want to start doing things efficiently. So I want to update this click text whenever we buy this click upgrade and on start. And obviously it's zero and we don't have any save and date, save and loading. And that's honestly something I'm afraid of. Dude, do we have player prefs? Oh, we don't. That's, that's kind of sucks. <laughs> um, anyways, we're just going to set a text.text. .text. Okay. Oh, that's get. We don't want to get. Okay, and we're gonna do set. We're pretty much just gonna set it to click plus dollar sign. Okay, so that's very easy. So we're just gonna add a new string, a string literal. And we're gonna call this click backslash n plus dollar sign. Okay, so that's a prefix. And we're gonna add, we're gonna add this and the current level okay and we're also gonna have to like create some variables and stuff in the future where it's multiplied by their stuff so it'll also be a little easier to manage i guess but this is just gonna become a huge mess <laughs> and if this is inefficient and you're really good at unity bolts you can make fun of me all you want i'm a noob but anyways we need to get a click upgrade one variable like that and we will set it to B. And we'll add A plus B and set it to the string right here for text. We also need to add this um, this flow right here. Like that. Oh, it looks like we're missing something. What happened there? Oh, right here. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Um, basically, replace the self with uh, the click text. So click button, text right here, drag it into the text box right here. And now we can finally add this green arrow to the flow right here. I'm going to move this up and organize it a little bit. Oh yeah, we've got to re-add A plus B to the string right here. And now on start, it should show um, plus one per click. Oh yeah, we got to add. All right. Mm, this is where it gets a little tedious. And honestly... I could probably just grab this A plus B right here. Let's do that. I mean, I don't really care about how messy things are. We can just move this here. Instead of doing extra work here, we'll just drag this A plus B and put it into here right now. Okay. And that looks like it'll work. And we're pretty much doing the exact same thing. We're just not doing we're just doing less work. Instead of just having to make this all over again right here. And also want to make a little box right here for start. And I know a lot of stuff is going to happen here at some point. So we also need to attach a flow here to make sure this runs. Um, I want to test something. Can we add another arrow here? Oh, we can. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. Okay. I mean, that would be kind of silly if you couldn't. But after we set this variable here, since this is the last flow, we're going to grab this green arrow and attach it to this one right here. So we're updating the text whenever we buy this upgrade. And I'm going to show you how this works in a second. Alrighty. So, oh man, are you serious? It actually does back... It actually does that? That is stupid. Okay, I've tried experimenting this with, with this for a while, and Unity, the Unity Discord's full of bots and don't want to answer me. Seriously, so I'm just gonna <sighs> do everything on one line, which kind of sucks, but I guess this is how we're gonna have to do it because you can't do a new line with strings, and I guess a multi-million dollar company just doesn't want to implement that. So I have to just have to wait for a future update, or uh, I don't know. I I made a tweet, so hopefully they'll see it. I doubt it. Maybe add it soon. I don't know why they haven't yet. I don't know. <laughs> so I guess we're kind of stuck with this. So anyways, we're just going to do click plus that much. It looks ugly, but it's fine. Um, <clears throat> I think today I'm just going to do the click upgrade just because this is a lot of work and I'm a little stressed over the fact that you can't do a new line. So, <laughs> anyways, we need to have this button do something too. So, um, let's just start 
this in here. Actually, yeah, let's just add the text in here. So the cost is right here. So I think I'm gonna add it right under here. Or in here. Yeah, I'm kinda I'm kinda deciding where I want to put this. Alrighty. So we're gonna uh, add another set text right here. Okay, I like when this happens. Why can't okay, that was weird. You, you have to zoom in. I don't like that. It's a little weird. Um, we're gonna set this text to the click upgrade one text right here. Okay. And we're gonna set the string to several things. So we're gonna have improve click and stuff like that. So let's add another string. Okay, and this is just gonna be um click plus one. One dollar. Again, we can't really do anything fancy here because Unity. And I guess we'll just put a dash cost dollar sign. I don't know. I don't like this. And we need to add them together. Okay. So this would go into the A. And B will be the actual cost, which is what is right here for the multiply. So we'll put this in B. And also, actually, before we do this, I want to have a formatter, so we're going to add a string, new string, and we're going to do, um, oh wait, no, it's just format, right? Yeah, string.format. Which one did I actually use? Oh, it's two string, right, okay. So we're going to add a two string here, and this is a float, a float two string format. And now for our format, we're just going to do F2. Actually, I want to do N2. Alrighty. And we're going to drag our A times B right here into this blue uh, float slot right here. And drag the orange into our B right here. And we're going to add them together and set it to our cost text. So now this will be ran whenever we actually... Uh, buy this upgrade but we also need to add this flow right here okay oh man I forgot you can only add it once so we need to ah oh, this is a bit trashy okay so we're gonna drag this arrow here and drag this one from this text all the way back up here alright that works not as efficient as I'd like but it works okay so let's save it and give it a shot also, it still says this at the start, so we might have to move this anyways. Uh, okay. Let's buy that. Okay, now it should show the correct one. It doesn't show the correct cost, though. It shows the cost afterwards. Okay, so that's kind of an issue. So it shows the previous cost. Okay, so the other ways the display is fine. It's not the end of the world. It's just that it's displaying the wrong one. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, so since it's grabbing the wrong text, we actually need to make this cost again. Um, I don't really know a better way to do this for now, other than just redoing this. Not really redoing this, but um, doing it again. I know this isn't very, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to copy all this again, and this is basically just calculating our next next click upgrade 1 cost. That's fine with me. And basically we just take this flow right here, um, so let's get rid of this right here. Get rid of this flow right here, and basically we want to drag this set variable here into the PAL, and then we want to set it this one to the text right here and now we format this great this um we actually don't need this right here we can get rid of that this get variable here i don't think we need this either um yeah we don't need this i think like we're missing something though oh wait we're not this F right here is, oh, we're missing the power. Okay, I was wondering what we were missing here. But if we, 
get that p from the git variable here. Okay, so we're gonna add this right here. Actually, we can just replace this one here. Get rid of that node. Um, set this give variable to the click upgrade one level right here, and set it to the power. Alrighty, and now we can get rid of this greater or equal then, and drag this a times b into this formatter. Let me shift everything here, right here into the blue, and now it should work as planned. Oh yeah, we want to drag this. Oh, we're in play mode. Shoot, that's not good. <laughs> we can't do this all over again. Hold on. Alrighty, so what I did is that I kind of reorganized it. So make sure you connect the set variable to the power right here, and set this pow to the text right here. So we're setting it. I also dragged this um, this original text right here into here instead of recreating this whole costing over and over again. I or I really don't want to do that, so I create, I just dragged this green arrow right here into the pow right here. So now we have two green arrow connections going into this. So hopefully it works. And obviously this is very confusing, and I'm going to put this out here. This series is not going to be long at all, because I'm going to get very stressed with this. I might just do the improve and that's it. Maybe prestige, and then I'm done. <laughs> this is very tedious. Okay, so it looks like it didn't work. So, let's see, do it, does this even get called? Um, oh, it looks like there's an issue here. Right here. So this will prevent the future code from running. Um, we can get rid of this A plus B. I don't know why I still have that. Like that, okay. So now we're just doing click, colon, plus dollar sign, put that into A and we grab our 1 plus level into our B. And then we add A plus B and set that as the string. Alrighty, let's give it a shot. Cool, so it runs everything correctly. The cost is 10, so let's see if we keep playing. 1070, so the next one should be 1070. Yep, that's right. Also, let's look at the satisfaction right here. Ooh, look at that, it's so satisfying. Alrighty, I think I'm done with this. This is quite a, a mouthload of stuff to do. <laughs> the video actually turned out a little shorter than I was expecting. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and uh, turn on notifications for future live streams and videos. Comment all your suggestions, questions, feedback, all that good stuff. And anyways, have a good day and night, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.